All right, so I'll show you this guy first because something really bad happened to him a couple of days ago. I just got him. Weird Wolf, aka Lupus. This is a fan's toys. You'll notice his leg got busted right there. And that is not because of fan's toys quality, but my own fault. Totally blame myself 100%. He was sitting on the shelf here. A windstorm came up, blew the shutters. He fell completely off this thing about two feet and it busted his other leg right here i am talking to fans toys well actually tf safari where i got this they're going to try to look and see if they can get me a replacement part if not i am screwed because i don't know how to glue this piece back together with this other one so that sucks otherwise he's a really awesome looking robot figure uh the beast mode he was in beast mode when he fell not like i don't think that would have really helped him anyways but Beast mode's okay, but really nice figure, and this is one of the figures that I bought. I have the original one still in box when I was a kid, one of the last Transformers I bought, originally in 87, so anyways, that's it for him. Next, we got Sovereign right here. I just got him too, obviously. Um, this is the movie version. Sovereign, fans, toys, Sovereign. Looks really good, and the only thing I could really say, the alt mode is not the greatest. I haven't transformed him yet, but I heard other people say that the alt mode is not that great. And I've seen pictures of it. It doesn't look that great. But uh, other than that, it looks spectacular, except for those hands, which I just do not like. I like the more tuned hands they have now with Blaster, you'll see in a second. He's got these giant hands. Same thing with Cyclonus. Cyclonus is just awesome. I really like Cyclonus. Fans toy Cyclonus. But, um... That is Sovereign right there. We'll go to Cliff Jumper. Just got this dude too, of course. I haven't transformed him either. A lot of these guys I haven't transformed yet. They're just gonna stay in bot mode. I haven't had any problems with him yet. There are a few things wrong with him. Some of the reds don't match up, I heard. But a nice little figure. Still can find him. And then we got Blaster. Just haven't transformed him either. I will eventually. Comes with, what, Rewind or Eject? Put the Autobot symbol on there. Really nice posability on this guy. Solid figure. Nice looking. Here's the eject button here. It's a little bit stuck right now because I had him a certain way, but yeah. It does eject. We'll go over here with some of the reissues. G1 reissues, Hot Rod, movie version. This one I have an open star scream. He's really easy to find. I might as well skip ahead and go to Hound. A little more difficult. The boxes really I got these on Walmart or or Hasbro, um Haslab or whatever. But they are always dented up and they're just not in really that great condition. I haven't opened up any of those. This guy was open already. I guess the tape came off on this guy. Thundercracker. I'm looking forward to Skywalker because he's my favorite Transformer, so this one broke, so I opened him up. I haven't transformed him yet, though. And we're going to move down. I'm not going to stop this. I'm just going to keep going down. I'm not going to pause or anything. Jazz. Really, really popular fan toys figure. Extremely popular. They just reissued him again. And they reissued another version of the uh, toy version, which I just pre-ordered. So what's going to happen with me is I have never transformed this guy. I don't plan on to ever. The other one, the toy version, I'm going to get. And I'm just going to leave it in uh, car mode. It looks really nice. And this is a really popular figure. Here we go with uh, Buzzworthy Jazz. Not bad for... 30 bucks is kind of steep, I think, for this, but... Little figure, his uh, Cybertronia mode. Not too bad. Here is Overdrive, uh, Omnibot. This is X-Transbot's Fioravanti. So far, I like him, but I'm not completely overblown with him. I don't think he's the hottest thing on four wheels here, but the legs are a disaster. People have been breaking these things left and right. I was really careful um transforming this guy and he's gonna sit like this for a while although he is an omnibot i'm looking forward to get uh downshift and over uh, not overdrive camshaft and downshift those are my uh other ones i want to get so i will be getting those eventually 
And just something I picked up randomly at Target was this Ninja Turtles reissue. I have Leatherface, the original one, just like him. Um, but this one was sealed for 14 bucks or 15 bucks. Not bad. I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet. Move on to Trans Art Megatron. I did a whole video on this guy. Really nice looking figure. I think the beast mode is actually better than the robot mode. They did an excellent job sort of copying the original Transmetal 1 Megatron and then making it a lot better with certain things. For one, he's huge. I mean, he is gigantic. He's bigger than... I think he's bigger... Let me bring out Galatron here again. He's bigger... For one thing, it just doesn't make sense at all. He's way bigger than Galvatron. Like, what the hell? I don't know why they made him so big, but he should not be that big, at least as far as the cartoon goes. But Beast Mode is awesome, and I did, like I said, I did a review on him. I was really happy with him, although there's one thing that broke. And it is this little piece right here. It snapped off. They warned you about that, but it was such a flimsy piece. I just It just broke off regardless. But excellent figure for 115 bucks. I got it on shows a really good price. Um, def die cast feet right here, so he stands pretty well. The plastic isn't the greatest quality, I would say. Um, they did a great job on the hands. I really like these hands. They look really nice. But plastic wise, as far as the body, it just it looks kind of cheap. Although maybe that's why it was only 115 bucks. And here's his uh. He called his cannon his tail right here. Next up, uh, let me go with Blaster Guy. I just want to show you a size comparison. Even though I've got Soundwave already and I did a uh, video on him, I just they are pretty much neck and neck. This is a knockoff of a uh, fan's toy Soundwave. 100 bucks. And I got the uh, Icon Labs, I think that is. Cartoon uh, part right there. Okay, and then I'll go with my last and my favorite, one of my favorite Transformers ever. I'll get both of these guys out over here. Let's make up some room. Move it, guys. G1 Astro Train. I already have one, but hang on a second. And Fans Toys Astro Train. This is a reissue. It just came out. There's three other versions of him. Well, two other versions of him. The toy version, the Japanese version. I like to get the toy version if I can. Um, but yeah, I definitely wanted to get this version, the tune version of what he looked like in the original cartoon. I was trying to find one of my other versions of, uh, I got a sealed version of Astrotain, but I couldn't find them. But anyways, we'll go with the fans toys first. Really good figure. I haven't transformed this one either, of course. <laughs> the back of him right there. Um, looking forward. I will transform him. I mean, I'll, I'll transform all these on that you've seen already, but, uh, I got a really good deal on this though. It's the only reason really I, I got this. I was looking for an ascertain box because the box I have for my sealed one is not the greatest, but this one here is not too bad. And there's a little bit of a sticker wear there for some tape. I think somebody taped something on there. There was actually a little tag on here for Christmas. Somebody got, gave this to somebody, which is interesting when you get stuff like that. It's like the history, right? Of this exact figure there's the back and the side flap crease and of course of course the bubble insert is the hardest thing to find and this came with a bubble insert and i paid with tax and shipping and all that about 54 bucks which is our steel really he's in mint condition with um unused well sticker sheet is used but it's still there instruction book and all that but i'm glad i got him anyways that is going to do it for this one i hope you enjoyed it i will see you soon with another video adios